This is what I look like without a capture card using the Canon EOS Web Utility. Well, let's see what happens when we switch to a capture card. Boom! Look at that sweet, crisp, clean. Hey, what's up guys? Slowjo here for me for the first time. What up? In this video, I'm going to quickly go over the WeStar HDMI capture card, which I've been using now with my Canon M50 for like 30 minutes. I know, so long. <laughs> if you've been following my Twitch streams for the past few months, you'll know that I've been using the EOS Web Utility app, which allows you to pretty much connect your camera to the computer without needing a capture card. But it comes at a cost of quality and FPS. You, you're looking at 540p, 30fps. I think it's 540p. Whereas the capture card allows you to go 60fps, 1080p. This we saw, and I mean, you don't even need to use it for just your camera. You can use it to connect your console, like your PlayStation 4 or 5 or Xbox. Box one or whatever you use to your PC to stream pretty awesome stuff and it's super easy to actually use I won't lie I say I've been using it for 30 minutes mainly because I've probably spent about four hours trying to figure out how to connect this thing because I've never seen a capture card in my entire life before this video and I'm sorry I'm talking really fast because I don't want to waste your time so here's a quick before and after which I want to show you again in using the web utility app and the cost that it comes with like whilst the the image is great but it's only because of filters that I've added on there like upping the vibrance and all of that and the highlights but and now switching back to the capture card where this is just raw input from the camera which I could literally add the filters and make it look even better you can just see the smoothness is so much better it's so much crispier and so instead of doing a review I'm just letting this capture card speak for itself and you can make your own informative decision if this is the capture card you want to go through I must say that for a budget capture card this thing is a boost it does amazingly and I'm super happy that I bought this thing so what you're going to need if you're going to buy this is a mini HDMI to HDMI my adapter because you see i bought this thing i spent four hours trying to like figure it out and then i realized i was missing that part and that's why i couldn't figure it out because your little mini hdmi capture card you're probably thinking this guy dumb i'm never going to follow this guy but uh bear with me that goes into the camera and then the hdmi cable goes into there into the capture card from there the capture card will then link to your pc either via usb it comes with a, a type c adapter in case you want to use a type c adapter into your pc i mean it's a pretty cool option that you actually have to come with it and i must say again i'm happy with this we star hdmi capture card let me know if you're thinking of picking up one if you do pick up one and i'll just make sure all the links are down in the description for you guys now since you're going to be making your stream look crispier and cleaner let's make sure that it's not laggy that it's it's great for your viewers experience click on the video that's coming up next i'll see you guys there